Good morning, Chicago. How we doing? Jay Smalls here. Want to talk a little bit here about some NBA basketball and point guard play. And we're going to do some shaving while we do that. So just bear with me while I lather up here. So Kyrie Irving and you have Damian Lillard of the Trailblazers. Both players uh, statistically are almost identical. Kyrie has not really stayed that healthy. And he is also, his team has always been in the basement. Though Damian Lillard, this is his first year being a, a top, you know, playoff point guard because Portland hasn't been relevant in the playoff picture. They were very feisty last year and had quite a run going into the end of the last year. And, and quite frankly, you can only be as good as the team and players that you have out there with you. So they definitely improved their squad and got better all together. Right now, currently, they sit at the five seed in the West. You have the Cleveland Cavaliers who are just in the basement. Everything's in disarray over there. Uh, even with Luol Deng going over there just saying that it's more of a, uh, a cultural um, vibe thing that's just not there and it's just totally missing that is prevalent in all of the successful franchises like the Spurs, the Bulls, and so on and so forth. With that being said, going into Kyrie and Lillard here, Lillard is a guy I'm going to take over Kyrie Irving. Just to the simple fact, he is a winner. He does not get injured. He tears it up. This guy has the heart of a champion. He's one of the next superstars of the NBA, without a doubt. You got him. You have and Andre, Andre, or I'm sorry, Mr. Davis down there in Nolens, Anthony Davis, who is just a man among men. He will be the new future of the NBA. But Damian Lillard, mark my word, he, he's going to be the point guard version of up there. Right now, the best point guard in the NBA, hands down, without a doubt, is Chris, Christopher Paul. Or Cliff Paul, however you want to say. <laughs> but Lillard just brings his game to a different level. With the pick and roll threat that he can do, he just has so many more assets and so much more heart that I think that Lillard or uh, that that Kyrie has. Kyrie has been surrounded by good talent. It hasn't gelled, and that's what's really killed. Also, not having a legit big man has killed him as well. Which Lillard does advantage go well. The advantage goes to him with having Lamarcus Aldridge. But at the same point, he just doesn't have that hard factor. So I don't see him as being that number one guy. Lillard is that number one guy. I have Lillard literally being my number two point guard in the NBA. And then after that, you have following Chris Paul. We have Rajon Rondo in there. He, he has not been healthy, so it's going to be interesting to see how he comes back, when he comes back, who he comes back with, and what kind of player he's going to be. But thank you for joining me. Hopefully, I am all lined up. I'm just trying to be uh, very quick and thorough this morning. But definitely, if anybody's going to get into the uh, conversation of Damian Lillard and Kyrie Irving, they're probably a Duke fan if they're going for Kyrie Irving. Or they're just... Whoop. So, thank you for joining Jay Smalls. I'll see you guys later. Let's go NBA playoffs. Let's go Bulls. Maybe Derrick Rose going to come back. We'll see. Peace, everybody.